Hey guys, it's Jeremy here from Kitchen Dad. Uh, today my son Grayson is going to help me out. Uh, we're actually going to make waffles without a waffle iron today. Um, it's pretty easy, just need a griddle pan or you can actually buy some silicone molds that you can bake in the oven. Uh, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that I did was melt my butter because you don't want that to go into the batter super hot. So um, by doing that first, you're giving it a chance to cool back down um, before you whisk it into everything. And I've also got all of my dry ingredients in one bowl. Um, today I'm actually using whole wheat flour, but you could use regular all-purpose flour or almond flour if you wanted to try to be keto friendly. Um, I also have my salt, sugar, and baking powder in there. So Grayson's going to go ahead and give that a stir for us, the dry ingredients. Okay. What's this? The dry ingredients for this okay. all right and over here i got my wet ingredients um some milk one egg vanilla and i'm just going to pour this butter in as it's cooled off for a minute or two and grayson's going to go ahead and whisk that for us crush up the egg good job and then definitely make sure you break up that egg yolk hold the bowl for it Alright, it doesn't have to be too um, incorporated because we're going to mix it all together anyway. So, uh, Grace, I'm going to hold the whisk for you. Why don't you go ahead and pour it into the dry mix. Okay. Alright, go ahead and give it a few serves. Um, here, you don't have to get it um, super fine. Once it's incorporated, you can go ahead and um, relax on the whisking. You definitely want to make sure you get all of that. Okay, that looks good. So we're going to tap off the excess from the whisk. Okay, now that we have our waffle batter mixed, we want to not waste too much time um, getting it into the pan. So the pan's already heating up. We'll add some butter uh, to prevent the waffle from sticking. But um, as soon as you mix that baking powder with the wet ingredients, it's going to start activating. So uh, you don't want to wait too long with your batter before you start cooking it. So our hand's been heating up for a few minutes. I'm going to get the butter on there. You can see it's already sizzling. I'm just going to try to spread that around so it's a nice even coating. And this grill pan has a in sort of a circular shape, so we're going to just test out doing four smaller waffles on each section. So I'm just going to scoop gonna some batter on there. Like holes. So I'm just going to scoop some batter on there in each little section. And Alright, we're going to let those cook for about five or six minutes until it gets nice and golden brown and then we'll flip it to finish it off on the other side. So this batter is a little bit thicker than I'd normally do. Uh, so I'm just gonna turn the heat down a little bit so it can um, not get too well done before we need to flip them. All right, so I think these are ready to flip. Um, if, you had a, if you grease your pan well, it shouldn't be a problem. Um, so yeah, it looks like they're sliding nice and easy for me. So I'm gonna try to flip it right back on, on that thing and I missed. Uh, that's okay. We'll do this one right on it. So as you can see, um, you know they're not going to have the the square cutouts like you normally used to with a waffle, but it still has some texture from the, the grill pan, and I think they're still going to taste just as delicious. All right, we're going to finish cooking the rest of that waffle batter, and then we're going to give them a try and let you know how they taste. All right, all of our waffles are done. Now it's time to check out how they taste. As you can see, uh, like as I mentioned, they're not your regular square waffles, but we still have some nice texture that's, that'll be fun for the kids. Um, and it's pretty much as easy as cooking a pancake. Oh. So Grayson always eats his uh, waffles with butter and syrup. Yeah. So I'm going to put some butter and syrup on there for him. And then we're going to give him a taste. All right, I'm going to add some syrup. Got real maple syrup going. Okay. Right 
ready? Yep, let's do it. It's good. Very good. All right, we hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'll be linking to all the products that we use to make this in case you didn't have them in your kitchen laying around. But give these a try and let us know what you think in the comments below. And uh, be sure to subscribe to Kitchen Dad. We'll have several more videos coming out soon. Take care. Bye.